supposed to take a shower. I don't know if I can still make it to take one. Oh goodness. Scratch. Oh scratch. I got 20 minutes. Can I make it?
Ja. Was sind die? Was ist das? Das war's. Das war's. Was sind die? Was sind die? Was sind die? Was sind die? So last Tuesday he was nine pounds and fourteen ounces, and today, a week later, he was ten pounds and four ounces. So in that week he gained six ounces, um, which I guess is pretty good. So, yeah, literally we got there, signed in, waited to be called back, called us back, got him undressed, put him on the scale, went back to the room and she said, well, he gained weight, everything's good, you're good to go. So we, I got undressed and we left. Which I mean, technically it was just a weight check, but and since did gain weight or wasn't really much needed. If it had been the opposite, I guess I probably would have seen the doctor then because we would have needed to come up with some sort of plan. But I've been trying to train him to not need the nipple shields anymore because we've been using the nipple shields um, this whole time. So I've been trying to train him not to use those. But she's getting a lot better at it. I haven't really been using them. I don't think I used it at all yesterday. Um, before he would get too frustrated and wouldn't latch on. And if he did latch on, he wouldn't stay latched for very long at all. And then he would just get more and more mad. So I would just give in to the um, nipple shield. He doesn't get as frustrated anymore with getting latched on at first. And he's doing better about staying latched on. He still, like, doesn't stay latched on as well as he does with the nipple shield. Like, he pops off a lot. But so far, it's been pretty easy to get him to latch back on. Because I was starting to wonder if maybe the nipple shields played a part in him not gaining weight. Because some people say that, you know, because it slows the flow down a lot, it can kind of cause them to not get as much as they would without it. And plus, they're just kind of annoying to keep up with. Uh, and as long as I'm not, like, in pain with that one, I don't really, like, I don't care to use it. I just used it if it was very painful or if they wouldn't latch without it. But if he's able to latch without it and I'm not in pain without it, there's not really, a need, like, a need for it. And they're, like I said, they're really annoying to keep up with and have to worry about cleaning all the time and... The dogs love to steal them, so hopefully we can do away with them completely now. Huh. So I'm going to give him a little snacky, and then hopefully I can do a quick workout, my first one in like a year. Probably exactly, well no, I don't want to say exactly a year, but almost exactly a year because my one of my Snapchat memories today was a year ago whenever I was going to the gym. Very rarely. I went to the gym like one one or two times whenever we were back in Ohio but yeah gonna do a quick workout and then head out to my mom's to get the kids mom said that Ashlyn had a huge blowout of her back yesterday well she did that to me the other night it wasn't all the way up her back but it did go up a little bit 
and I don't really know why because she hasn't had a blowout in a long time because she's not like a baby baby anymore usually she doesn't do all that so but she said she woke up fuss, fussy and feverish which she's fussy every morning if you watch she throws those tantrums every single morning about every little thing so her being fussy in the morning isn't new i don't know why she's like that even if she gets plenty of sleep she's still super fussy in the mornings and she's been like that for two or three weeks now i wish i knew where my like sweatband thing was but i do not think i know where it is oh and i still don't know where the remote is so i need to remember to pack lennon's dance bag i got a call I missed a call this morning from um, the GI specialist for London's referral, finally, so I need to call them back. And I need to try and schedule a dentist appointment for all three of us. Don't know how that's going to go because I can't really sit in a dentist chair and get work done while holding a baby and trying to watch two toddlers. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about myself, but I need to go. Um, so... I need to do that now while I have peace and quiet. But I hate making phone calls. I put it off as much as I can because I just hate it. I get so anxious. Mm. But yeah, I messaged her doc. Like it's been a month since London's appointment where the doctor said she was gonna refer her to a GI specialist. So I sent a message to them the other day to be like, hey, just wondering how long is it gonna take for me to hear back for this referral? And they called me the next day and were like, you should be hearing back from them. This was yesterday that I talked to them. Yesterday they told me you should be hearing back from them this time next week. And they're booking about one to two weeks out. So I was like, okay, thanks for updating me. And then the GI people called me today, which I guess was nice instead of it being a, wait, a week away. Um, so I need to call them back and get her scheduled for that to hopefully figure something out because it has not improved at all.
called and got those appointments scheduled. Both of them are scheduled for 9.30 in the morning. And I can barely get out of the house by 1 p.m. on time, so I have no freaking idea how I'm gonna get up early enough to get everyone, all four of us, ready and out the door on time for 9.30 appointments. But for her GI specialist, it was either that or wait two weeks. And for the dentist, they had something tomorrow afternoon, but her GI already scheduled her for tomorrow, so I said I couldn't. So then they didn't have anything for two weeks. But I gotta go grab lemon stand stuff. I need to put moisturizer on my face because I didn't have time after my shower and my skin feels so tight and dry. And then we're gonna head out. All right, so I just walked London into dance. Um, Ashlyn did not want to leave Mimi's house. So I tried. we tried talking to her to see what she wanted to do she wanted to leave with me or stay there and she kept saying she wanted to leave in Mimi's car which wasn't an option and she was she didn't really understand we were saying either leave in mommy's car or stay at Mimi's house and like one second she would say stay and the next she would say go and like she just kept going back and forth and then she said stay so I was in a rush because we were running late so I um Left Ashlyn there to bring Ash or bring London to dance, and I'm gonna have to check in after dance before I head home to see if Ashlyn changed her mind because we don't know how she's gonna feel about staying by herself. Like we don't know if she realized that London wouldn't be there too. Like she would be without London and just staying by herself. So after I leave here, I'm gonna need to check in to make sure she didn't change her mind before I get all the way back home. Um, in the opposite direction. It kind of would be easier if she did stay there because London has that doctor's appointment super early in the morning and it would be one less kid for me to have to fight to get ready and it would be one less kid for me to have to take with me in case like I don't know how the doctor's office would feel about me having two extra kids with me like I have no choice but to bring Jace with me but you know doctor's office still don't love having extra people besides the patients and whoever needs to be there. So I don't know how they would have, how they would feel if I came for London's appointment and had Ashlyn with me too. And it would just be more complicated. So even though I don't want to have to make another trip back here again tomorrow to get her back, it would be easier for me to not have to worry about Ashlyn um, as well when I have to take London to that appointment in the morning. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Going nice. Going nice. I go in at 6.05 and it's too early so I went in at 6.10 like uh, they had been and it was too late but London apparently decided not to dance anyway so when I walked in she was just sitting on the floor um teacher said that she wanted to do the goldfish song but they couldn't because they have to be working on their recital dances because recital is coming up in May so apparently she was upset about that and decided she didn't want to participate anymore <laughs> but now I gotta get gas I'm waiting to see I messaged my mom to see how Ashlyn was doing before I get on the highway to go home I think 
McDonald's. Let's take it you today. Hi, I'm thinking of mobile order NR37. What's the first one though for me? Thank you. to go to the doctor tomorrow why does she does she have to give me a butt shot or a, oh. what does she have to give me a shot in my butt it's a different kind of doctor i don't know what they have to do they have to give me a shot i don't know i don't think so I also made you and Sissy a dentist appointment in what? two weeks. Why? To check your teeth and make sure you don't have any cavities. I don't. You don't know that. Um, we always cannot see them, and I don't know where they are, what they mean. The, the dentist has to take special pictures of your teeth to see if you have cavities. She can check in it. Yeah, and then they'll clean your teeth really good. After my doctor appointment? So you got, y'all got to make sure you're brushing your teeth really good so that in two weeks when you go, you don't have any cavities. To the dentist? Yeah. Because then I'm going to eat a healthy food while I'm going to the dentist. Mm -hmm. But what day? <coughs> What day? On a Tuesday. Well, it would be Tuesday in the morning? No. The next morning? No, it's in two weeks. No, it's not. Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love.